All right, so a big pet peeve of mine is the wide handlebars that are stocked on road bikes. Most of you know, minimum 40. I don't think 38s really come on many bikes. Uh, and like my bike, my bike came with a 42, which is just far too wide. Anyway, so there's a lot of error gains to be had. Read this little article, and they say that British Cycling have basically decided that 42 bars are far too wide and changed them to uh, sub 30 centimeter ones. Chris Hoy raced with 22, 26 centimeters, um, and they, he rides with 36 or 36 centimeters or 38s now. Um, and then he's basically just saying that the error gains uh, are so important that it doesn't really matter if you're not as efficient because the gains you can get from having narrow handlebars is absolutely huge. Um, so anyway, it got me thinking, I was like, is there any company that does a 38 centimeter integrated bar and stem? So I had a little look and there aren't really, there's one, which I'll, I'll tell you at the end. But so the data ones, 42s. So the whole point of these is they're supposed to be super aero. You save so many grams, so many, um, aero, like what's just because it's all integrated. Look at that. So smooth. But then everyone has to run 42s minimum. We have the FSA 42. We then have the Bontrager one here, uh, which again, you can get a 40, but you still can't get a 38. And it's like, for me, a 40 is like pretty wide for the like um, average person. Like even Chris Froome runs 38s. A lot of pros run 38s now, um, but you just can't buy them. So Bontrager, again, 40s. Dead at 42 is minimum. Like 42, like come on. This most one, Chris Froome has a 38, but now nah, you can only buy a 42. We go on the Specialized, these are the error ha um, handlebars, again, a 42. We go on the Envy ones, 40. You still can't buy a 38. We go on the Vision Metrons, which like seem to be everyone in the Pro Peloton has them. Again, you can only get a 40. And like this, the stem length as well, like sometimes you can only, only get a 40, but the stem length can't be like, longer than 120. This is not too bad. 40 and 120 is all right. But like, again, where's the 38? You're trying to save all these gains. Like, look how nice these handlebars are. But again... They're, they're just too wide. Like, 40s for me is like, you have to have really wide shoulders for a 40s. Like, I feel like the average person should be on like 38s. And then if you have smaller shoulders, you should be like 36s or whatever. Again, this Cinelli Ram, 42 or 44. Like, who runs 44? So like, your shoulders literally must be like so big. They must be like just monstrous. I just, I just don't get it. But there is one company who's actually intelligent, and it's Black Ink. Now, Black Ink are like basically the sister company of Factor. And they decided that you know what, we're gonna have 38 centimeter bars. It's actually incredible. So you can buy here a 38 centimeter bar and it can go up to 110, 120 mil stem. Like that's actually good. Like that's what people want. A 38 centimeter bar, 120 mil. And then it's like the aero gains actually make sense. But the rest of it is just a fucking waste of money spending money, like spending all your money on like integrated bar and stem. Like yeah, it looks good, but then you can't have 40s. Like I'd never, I wouldn't even get these because I, I'm thinking I'm on 38s at the moment. I think I want 36s because no one does 36s. Like, a check, just no one does 36s. Like, 38 is rare. 36 just doesn't happen. Maybe, like, if I got some track bars, integrated stem, I don't really know. But anyway, it just, to me, it seems really stupid that they haven't, like, thought of this. Like, who runs 44s? Like, the number of people buying 44s must just be so small. Like, surely it makes more sense to have, like, 38 as the base, Okay, we'll give 40 as the base, 38, 36, and maybe 42. But I, for me, I feel like 42 bars, they are just so wide. It's like you're, you're handling a bus or something. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why you'd have these aero stems. Like, the whole point is, like, most of the guys who are going to ride these, surely are, like, thinking about aero gains and want really, really narrow. Because, like, you can actually feel it. Like, having the narrow bars, you definitely do go a little bit faster. Like, there is a gain to be had there. Plus, it's more comfortable. Like, for me, I, I drop to narrow bars, but they're actually not narrow bars. They're normal size bars from, like, my shoulder width. Just the other ones were far, far too wide. Uh, but, at, yeah, I just don't get it at the moment. Why does no one make, apart from blacking, 38 centimeter like, integrated bar and stems? It's just, it's just bonkers. Like, okay, 40s, it's not bad, but some of them don't even make 40s. It's like, come on, what are you doing? Like... You're just so many people who can't buy it. And I feel like so many bikes are just stocked with bar and stem, like with a, a bar, which is just far too wide for the person. Like, and the giant, like, TCR, that's like a medium frame, which I have, 42 wide. Like, come on, like, 42 is just huge. Like, at least put 40s. Like, I just don't get it. Anyway, what do you think about handlebars? Should you have super narrow handlebars? For me, it's like, you have to. Like, it just feels so much more comfortable. Plus, you go faster. And, like, 
if you think about it, people, this is my favorite quote, people go in TT bars where they're literally like one centimeter apart their hands. So the whole shoulder width thing, I feel like is rubbish. You can go as narrow as you want. And if anything, narrow is more comfortable than more like wider. Like 42 for me was so wide, it was like uncomfortable. But I could probably go to like 25 and it'll be like more comfortable than a 42 or something. Just because it just seems that way. Like the narrower you go, the shoulders tuck in a little bit more and it just doesn't seem as bad. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Do you think that everyone should go narrow handlebars and like the companies are just muck, like they're just messing up massively by not having 38 or 30 well 38 centimeter wide handlebars in the integrated bar and stem combos? Uh, for me, it just, just the pros must want it. Like, I feel like some of them get it custom made, but like it's just crazy. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.